Hello Internet, I'm Jackie Fox, and we just got news today for Global, and while maybe the most exciting part of this for generally everybody is that we're going to be getting a Final Fantasy VII Remake rerun next week, which might indicate that we're getting Sephiroth and Yuffie on the same week following, and then maybe VCs the week after that, or maybe all of that on one week. Or maybe half of that on one week, and then the other half on the last week. That that actually... Well, no. The Raid VC still lines up with the Raid, which is going to be the week after Sephiroth regardless. So, I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but we do know how the work first week of that is playing out. However, the part that I want to talk about, because I have an upcoming video on job-based VCs, which ones I really like, and there is a card that I complain about in that video, and this is it. And the reason that I complain about this card in that video is that, well, it's really late for Global, but also I think it has a lot of potential because I don't really see a bad job class on here when you think about it. Although also I only see three job classes on here, I thought four was the standard, but whatever. They're all good. Um, that being said, so this is going to be a really good sub-VC for Gunners and for Strike teams. If you plan on playing Strike, it's probably a good idea to pull this card now. Maybe not invest a lot in it. And for new players, I'm going to do a video of me pulling this card and building it up about as much as I can without investing additional Viz in it. I should be able to get it to at least level 70, if not 85, maybe by the end of the week. At the very least, I can probably get to level 70 in the video. But, <clears throat> the downside of this card for both of those classes, I think both of those classes are really going to benefit from the missile resistance, being able to stack that up really high. AoE resistance, dexterity, the stats, or the passives on this card are actually pretty good. Dexterity does well as a sub-VC. AoE resistance doesn't, unfortunately, but I think that most people who are using this card are going to be using it as a sub-VC. That being said, Adelard, Rachez, and both forms of Mashiri get a global exclusive bonus on this card of, I believe, magic and HP or something to that effect. That's actually really cool because the third class that this card gets is Mace. Now, I mentioned Mace in my job-based VC video, but I think I actually might have excluded that from the cards that I was talking about. This card ended up showing up anyways because it was a Strike VC. But, I think that this, especially with those upgrades, is going to be really, really powerful for the, um, the Mace meta whenever that arrives. And I think that that might kick off with Rafu. I think they need their third unit. A fully reincarnated Mashiri might actually be really good, and we know that Queen Mashiri is also a good unit. So now that we've looked at the card, I just want to show you just a bit more of what I'm thinking for this particular class. So this class is going to get a free VC here. They already have a free VC here. So, two free VCs for, for Mace, that's going to be really good for them. The problem with a lot of their VCs, however, and, you know, good resistances, I'm, I'm not complaining about that, but physical attack based, uh, for, the, for what I think is the biggest modifier on this. It does have magic on it, that's not bad. We will see worse cards for Mace, for sure. This is a good card for Mace, already talked about it. This is a Mace card as well, it does have agility, so that's not bad. This is also, as I said, gonna be a sub-VC for, even for strike teams, this is gonna be a sub-VC. It has good uh, stuff for that. Mashiri herself actually does have a strike sub-job that I don't think this is gonna help. <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> So, it's a good sub-VC at the very least. So, Punisher, which, or, uh, I think it's Punisher. Maybe Pursuer, I'm not sure. Um, I guess it's Pursuer. We can find out. Pursuer. Okay, I think I may have been calling this Punisher. So, this is an Axe VC. I talk about this VC a bit more. Nope, actually, I skipped this VC. So, we talked a little bit about Axe having six, even though its team choices are kind of bad. 
This is another Gunner VC, obviously, but Mace VC. Unfortunately, this is another attack-based VC. I think that this, for them, would be a sub-VC, definitely. So, you know, the, the main stat on it isn't as big of a deal. Does have agility. Always a good thing on a vision card. Alright, this one isn't out for us yet. It is going to be another attack-based VC. It will have agility on it, thankfully. Um, so this is probably a sub as well for that team. This is really good for like the other people, but not necessarily for Mace. And then this boy is also attack-based. So, while Mace does have six VCs in JP, while two of those VCs are free, the issue that Mace is really going to run into is that these four are physically statted. And while a lot of the physical cards actually have either decent application for sub-slot in their passives, or um, just would work okay as sub-VCs, you're looking at a job class that has essentially four sub-VCs and two main, and even one of the mains isn't that great. So I think that what Mace really needs, other than Rafu for its third character, it needs Rafu to get a Mace VC so that it has a third primary slot option. So I think that with this card, this card might be important for Mace if anyone for any reason is thinking about running a, a Mashari themed team. Um, this card is going to be cool for that. But I think that Mace, if it is good, it probably won't actually be good until after Rafu. Now, I don't think that a lot of VC, job VCs are going to get good until at least Full Metal Alchemist. That's when we're going to get our first one to six. So that's not that far away, relatively speaking, for job-based VCs. But again, I do think it's important to actually make a video going through here and saying that four of them are physically based and Mace users are typically magic units. So even though they do technically have six, they're not the most ideal six. Anyways, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. That job-based VC video should be coming out relatively soon. And this last